hello Sagittarius welcome back to my channel my name is Ashley I'm going to do another quick weekly love reading for you all this is going to be for Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising and Venus signs and any other major placements in which you have Sagittarius in your chart keep in mind this is a general reading it will not resonate for everyone out there take what resonates and leave what doesn't if it's not your story it's simply not your story it's very important not to force it okay Ooh, Sagittarius, it's been a while. I'm excited to see what's going on. We're going to be looking at how your person's feeling towards you, how you're feeling towards them, and the mutual energy between you both. At the end, we'll pull some oracle messages from all of my decks that I've created, and hopefully we can get more insight. Let's see, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Ooh, under the deck we have the Two of Coins. Okay, so let me fix this for you all okay so we have the two of coins um, I'm gonna move this over here I'm gonna read this part right here as you Sagittarius this will always be the mutual I'm gonna read this section as your person remember roles can always be reversed so if you're resonating more with this side go ahead and flip it as need be okay roles are always going to be reversed depending on everybody's situation okay so let's start with your person Sagittarius they have the devil in reverse seven of cups in reverse justice and the five of coins and I am using the Game of Thrones tarot deck okay Sagittarius It seems like maybe your person it has been a little bit wishy-washy or flip-floppy. You know, they've, they haven't been the best. They've been maybe a little bit toxic or a little bit manipulative in their ways or are doing something ill in this connection, okay, with this devil in reverse here. This tells me that they're trying to cut out all that toxicity now. You see how at first it was more so like, a ball and chain type of connection now this person's trying to break out of that and turn that into actual love and actual emotion okay they're trying to break out of that toxic cycle or that toxic mess they've made up their mind here with the seven of cups they're no longer confused on how they feel about you or how they feel about the situation they're coming out of their head they're no longer cloudy for some of you, I feel like this person, not for everyone, okay, some of you, this person has stopped partying and stopped drinking, or at least they're trying to, okay? Ooh, for some of you, I don't know why I got somebody's going through withdrawal. Ooh, I got the chills. Ooh, I got the chills, Sag. Yeah, there's somebody that's going through a withdrawal or something. That's not for everybody, but for some of you, this person definitely likes to go out party drink or indulge in some sort of indulge in something okay but they're trying to stop that i think they're trying to stop it for you okay because we have the justice here they're trying to bring everything into balance they're trying to make it right they're trying to be good it's like they're on their best behavior like they're really i almost said on manual drive some of y'all this person drives manual but for some of you, it's like this person's like in control. They're finally taking control of their actions, trying to bring balance, trying to balance it out and trying to calm down is what I'm getting because they don't want to be out of cahoots with you. They want to be talking to you. They want to be around you. They don't want you to desert them. Yeah. Ooh, I got the chills. Ooh, I got the chills. Okay. They don't want to feel deserted or abandoned by you. In your energy, Sag, you have the Knight of Cups, the Star, Four of Swords in Reverse, and the Seven of Coins. So you're hoping that this person is really your knight in shining armor now with this Knight of Cups. You're, I think that you're kind of hoping that this is it. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, with a Libra, an Aquarius, um... We have a lot of earth energy, a lot of water energy. 
but I feel like you're kind of hoping, okay, like, is this it? I see that this person's changing. I see this person's trying. This person, is this finally it? Is it finally my knight in shining armor coming to actually give me a decent cup of love? I think you're remaining hopeful. It's like you're kind of scared. I think that you've been waiting for this Sagittarius, but you're still scared also. Like you see, like you're like, oh, here they come, here they come. But at the same time, you're like, oh, but I'm going to wait from inside the house just in case. You know what I mean? Like I'm going to keep my distance just in case. But you are staying hopeful. You see how she's she's covering the, the flame to the candle so it doesn't blow out. You are remaining hopeful. For some of you, there's something that happened in the winter time that just passed it's like you're you're kind of remaining hopeful like okay maybe this is it maybe this person's changing maybe this person is getting it together but at the same time you're like but i'm not waiting around to find out i'm hopeful but i'm also not waiting around to find out because i've already i've already invested too much time energy and finances into this now it's their turn to pursue me now it's their turn to come court me they should be the one coming to to really swoop me to swoon me you know they should be putting in time effort finances and energy because i've already done that now it's their turn to put into me it's their turn to pour into my cup and i feel like you're remaining ho ho who i almost said something else i don't know why i almost said that I think you're remaining hopeful, Sagittarius. Some of you want this person really bad. But I don't think that you're really waiting around or showing like if you're waiting. I think that you're trying to stay busy. Let them come to you and pursue you. In the mutual energy, you have the page of coins in reverse and the page of swords. So it's like neither of you act like you care like you guys are like nah, i don't care i could care less you know i could care less i couldn't care less however y'all want to say that but it's like you both act like nah, i don't care i'm gonna throw this person away i don't really care about that however you both still watch each other you both still kind of stalk each other a little bit it's kind of weird like, it's like you both, and you know, this has been the theme lately for all the signs. Like, you care, but then you don't show it, but yet you still watch. So, it's like flip-floppy. Underneath the deck, didn't I say two of coins? It's flip-floppy energy. You guys are just flip-floppy. Like, you guys want to be with each other, and then you don't. Or you guys want to, you act like you don't. You, you don't care, but you do. It's, it's very, pick a side. You know what I mean? Like, you guys just flip the coin and heads or tails that's who I'm gonna be you know heads I'm all in it tails I'm gone so it's kind of like that's what I'm getting it's very flip-floppy and Sagittarius you know you guys like freedom you know you guys like freedom so if someone has your attention I think it's somebody that you kind of see something and you see a spark in them right let's clarify your person yeah, this person wants to reach out to you. This person's trying to tell you, like, uh, whisper sweet nothings, you know what I mean? Or tell you sweet nothings. With that page of spears, it's like they're, they're trying to flirt with you is what I'm getting. They're trying to flirt with you, yet trying to make it seem like they're not too serious. Like It's like that honeymoon stage. They're trying to initiate that honeymoon stage again or for the first time. Yeah, it's like they're trying to, like they're trying to keep you there while also not making it seem like they're trying to pin you down. You know what I mean? Like they're trying to say, hey, you know what? You can still have your freedom, but I, I like you, you know, or I want you, or I want to see you. I want to talk to you. Yeah. There's been an ending here. If they were in a toxic cycle or they had some toxic characteristics, they're trying to end that. They're trying to dead that. They're trying to leave that part of them behind dead and buried, you know? Like they're really trying to release that toxicity and start fresh. 
Why? Because they're starting to realize their feelings and emotions for you with this Queen of Cups underneath the deck. And they want to move forward. They're realizing their emotions and realizing, okay, I see a future. I want a future. But how do I go about doing that is what they're kind of saying. I think they're sort of, um, like they're playing it cool. Like, what is it? Cool, calm, and collected, but... I think they are. I mean, I think they are. I think they're they're acting more so nonchalant, you know what I mean? But I think that they really care a lot more than what they're letting on. I think you guys are matching energies. I think you guys are matching energies. That, it, clarifying your energy, you have the Seven of Swords in reverse, okay? So something has come to light. Followed by the judgment, okay, maybe you found out about something Sagittarius. You found out about some deceit or some betrayal and you made a decision that you don't want to go back to that. That you don't want to deal with that. You don't want to relive that with that five of swords. You don't want to relive that, that shame or embarrassment. For some of you, I feel like this person, you found out about something that they did which caused you to turn a little cold on them. Like you're still inviting, you're still very inviting of this person. However, you're a little bit cold towards this person now. Very short, very cold, very um, blunt. Because a deception came to light here. And you're kind of trying to protect yourself from going back to that hurt or embarrassment. Yeah, you don't want to feel stuck. You don't want to feel embarrassed. You don't want to feel tied down. Clarifying the mutual. The Queen of Spears. There's definitely physical attraction here with that Queen of Spears. You both are very physically attracted to each other or you both are craving each other physically right now. Yeah, it's like you guys want to come out of this um, keeping to yourself energy, but you guys don't really express that. Yeah, look at Page of Cups in reverse. You don't express how you guys feel or what you guys want out of this situation. Let's get some moon messages for you. This is my new deck, y'all. Um, I created them, so it's the moon messages. You can purchase them in my Etsy shop. It's in the description below. Or you can purchase directly from the vendor. That's also in the description below. Um, if this message is resonating, leave a comment below. Like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I would greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. Ooh, I'm not taking any um, private readings at the moment, but I will let you know when I am available. If you want to hear my podcast, it's in the description below. Um, my merch, my membership link, all in the description, as well as my PayPal and my Cash App for donations to the channel, as well as my Amazon wish list if y'all want to donate. Um, I greatly, greatly appreciate them, and those decks usually become my favorite. Okay, so, ooh. What's going on? Okay. Ooh, okay. Sagittarius. We have strangers. Clarifying your energy with the moon messages, okay? We have strangers. So I feel like this person, you feel like you don't know this person anymore. Or you guys haven't seen each other in a quite some time. That it's almost like you have to get to re-know each other again. Like rekindle that spark and... and I, I want to say re-flirt, like really get to know each other again with the strangers, okay? Clarifying the mutual, I fall apart. So didn't I say, like, you both act like you guys don't care, but you really do. And I think it hurts you a lot more than what you let on to each other. I fall apart. For some of you, I feel like, For some of y'all, I think both of you are still heartbroken, okay? Some of you might still be heartbroken uh, over some issues that happened in the past. Clarifying your person, Sagittarius, you have peeps, okay? This person is watching you. And by peeps, it could mean that they have other people watching you or they're really watching you, okay? Like they're watching everything you do. Didn't I say like they're, they're trying to, to make things right? They're keeping an eye on you. Like they're peeping everything that you're doing right now. What's under the deck? Ooh, 
under the deck scorned lover and bitter ex so this is definitely someone that you have a history with okay this is definitely someone there's there's a bitterness here i fall apart you're both bitter towards this connection yeah i feel like this is someone that you've already dealt with okay let's get you one um dream card and then we'll call it a video we have imagine the life you really want to live observe your surroundings through new possibilities shape your consciousness to include your dreams okay so i think both of you are kind of imagining what life would be like together again or for the first time i feel like you both are imagining like is this the life i want will this fulfill me will this satisfy me and remember, we are in Mercury retrograde, so it it is about reconsider, reanalyze, reevaluate. So I think that's what y'all are doing. I think that you guys are both trying to reevaluate the situation to see if it really suits the both of you. But that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. I hope this helps. I hope it resonates. I'm sending you lots of love, light, peace, clarity. May peace always surround you. I love y'all so much, and I will talk to you soon.